In this video, I'll talk about various types of mechanical and electronic shutters and how we use them in various types of imaging applications. To explain what a shutter is and why we need it, let's use an example with analog film. Analog film is always light sensitive, so there has to be some mechanism in front of it blocking the light or the film will be destroyed. This mechanism then has to be able to open and let light through. That defines the start of the exposure, and later on close and stop the light and this defines the end of the exposure. Then the film can be wound to the next frame. The time between the start and the end of the exposure is then the exposure time. It's important to be able to control the exposure time very precisely, because in dark scenes, we need a longer exposure time to allow enough light through, and in very bright scenes, we need a short exposure time not to have the image overexposed. And also in applications with a lot of motion, either the camera is moving or there's motion in the scene, we need a super short exposure speed to freeze that motion. For digital imaging, a shutter is also required to control the start and end of the exposure. The four most commonly used shutter types are mechanical focal plane shutter, mechanical leaf shutter, electronic rolling shutter, and electronic global shutter. Mechanical focal plane shutters have been in use for a long time for both analog and digital imaging. They consist of two curtains placed in front of the image sensor to block the light. And the exposure is started by the first curtain starting to move across the focal plane and opening. The exposure time is then ended by the second curtain moving across the focal plane and blocking the light. For very fast shutter speeds, the second curtain can start moving even before the first curtain made it all the way across. And this way, the exposure is made by a slit of light moving across the frame. The benefit of this is that even very fast shutter speeds can be implemented with a mechanical shutter. The main disadvantage with focal plane shutters is that as this slit moves across the focal plane, not all areas of the sensor are exposed at the same time. So any significant motion, either of the camera or of objects in the scene, during the exposure will cause a skew to the geometry of these objects. A mechanical leaf shutter is a shutter mechanism placed centrally in the lens just next to the aperture and this enables it to block the light across the entire image plane at the same time. This ability to control the light across the entire image plane simultaneously makes it a type of mechanical global shutter and does not have any of the rolling effect of the focal plane shutter. On the other hand, it's not possible to achieve the same very fast shutter speeds as can be achieved with the focal plane shutter. With modern image sensor designs, it's in many cases no longer required to use mechanical shutters with moving parts as both starting and ending the exposure can be implemented directly in the sensor electronics. An electronic rolling shutter basically works the same way as a focal plane shutter. The lens is open and light falls onto the image sensor and accumulates in the pixels. The exposure is then started by resetting the pixels back to zero. This is done line by line rolling across the sensor with the exact same speed as the exposure is ended by reading out the pixel values also rolling across. And this creates the same slit of exposure running across the sensor as with uh, a focal plane shutter. Electronic rolling shutters have the benefit of no moving parts and they can create very fast shutter speed. But because of the rolling exposure, they will create this geometric shear across the frame in case of any motion. With an electronic global shutter, the exposure is started by resetting all the pixels across the entire sensor at the same time. And then the exposure is ended by clocking the accumulated pixel values into little memory areas inside each pixel simultaneously for all the pixels. After that, the data in all these memory areas can be read out and transferred to the electronic system. The ability to start and end the exposure for all the pixels across the image plane simultaneously completely eliminates any distortion from motion. And because it's done electronically, it can enable extremely fast shutter speeds and very high frame rates. In phase one, we use mechanical leaf shutters and electronic global shutters across our applications. We use mechanical leaf shutters because they enable the highest resolution image sensors with the highest dynamic range. And we use electronic global shutter sensors because they enable the fastest shutter speeds and the highest frame rates and the simplicity and reliability of no moving parts.